Hi, I'm Rob Maletto, I'm an ecological consultant, and today we're at Lanamanic Rocks Shropshire Wildlife Trust Reserve. So today we're looking at lowland calcareous grassland, which is a habitat of principal importance, or hoppy. When you're trying to identify if you're in lowland calcareous grassland, there's no need to carry around a chemical test kit to find out if the soil is actually alkaline. You can use what we call indicator species, plants that are indicative of that sort of habitat. And we'll go through a few now to see what they look like. One of the indicator species is this lovely grass here. Now as grasses go, this is relatively distinctive you can see that it's lovely red and green, little bobbles all over it, that if you shake it gently, they quake. This is quaking grass. Another good indicator is wild thyme. And this tiny little pink flower uh, between my hands, that's wild thyme. You can see it's got tiny little pink flowers and very distinctive small thyme leaves. I won't pick any, but if there's plenty of it, if you're not sure, just pick one or two leaves, give them a little squeeze, stick them under your nose and you should get that lovely thyme scent. Another really good indicator of lowland calcareous grassland is salad bonnet. This is the one I'm cupping in my hands here and I hope that you can see it's got a long leaf stalk with lots of little leaves sticking out on each side and then this tall flowering stem with a globular head there's nothing much to the flower, it's sort of green, little bits of red, but all the anthers, the little yellow bits, stick out all around it like a little frilly pattern. A really good indicator of lowland calcareous grasslands is a little plant called fairy flax. That's the one I'm cupping gently in my hand here. You can see it's very delicate, very fine. It has two opposite leaves all the way up the stem and little white flowers, which unfortunately are closed today because it's a bit cloudy. When they're open, there's tiny little white star-shaped flowers. So another really good indicator of lowland calcareous grassland is this tall, green, yellow topped plant here. This is ladies' bed straw. You can see it's got whirls of leaves, little fine leaves all the way up the stem and it finishes off in this cluster of yellow flowers. These will be open in a day or two, so they'll look even more yellow then. And you can see there are other indicators in this small patch as well. As well as the ladies' bed straw, on the ant hill there you've got wild thyme. Just here you've got quaking grass. I'll hold it against my hand so you can see the, the bobbly flowers there. And in and amongst you've got tiny little bits of the little fairy flax. Flowers still closed because it's still a bit cloudy. Carline thistle is another good indicator, but it's easy to overlook because it always has a, a dead, wilted look about it, like the ones you can see. So look out for this, as it's a, an, a, good re, a really good indicator. So hopefully you've got a good idea now of the sorts of plants that are indicative of the lowland calcareous grassland habitat. If you're not sure, there are various things that you can use to help you. One is a friendly botanist, um, and they should be able to point out what you're finding. There are books, of course, that's always a good place to look. Good ID books out there for you to consult. And these days there are apps on smartphones. Take a photo, upload it to the app, and it will give you an idea of what it thinks you've been looking at.